Hello Art Beaters! Becky here with ArtBeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm sharing my must-try techniques with you. These are five of some of my favorite techniques and I've got examples for all of them and why I think you should try them. So let's dive into some of our must-try beading techniques. One of my first must-try techniques, and one of my favorites for summer and spring especially, is seed bead daisy chain. This is a cute and delicate little daisy chain made with seed beads, and it's a really fast and simple technique as far as seed beading goes. I made this originally as a mask chain to hold face masks, but I've converted it into a necklace simply by removing one of the lobster clasp on one end. So this can be worn as a necklace, or even a wrap bracelet and this is a great technique for all kinds of different looks as you can see it makes really cute little bracelets it makes an excellent necklace you can even apply this technique to hoop earrings and so much more and for that reason that's why daisy chain is one of my must try techniques Another must-try technique, simple charm bangles. If you can open a jump ring, you can make a charm bracelet because that's really the only technique you need to know, opening jump rings. And it's super easy. We've got videos for how to do that. So once you pick out your bangle and pick out the charms you want to add, you just use those jump rings to load them on. You can add as many or as little as you want. Again, super customizable. Pick out charms that fit your personality or that you think someone would enjoy in a gift. And we've also got really great bangles to choose from as well. This is a tear cast bangle. It comes already made like this, easy to open and close. You can also make your own bangles if that's something you wanna dive into. We've got great tutorials for how to do that with the 3D bracelet jig, um, all kinds of different ways to create these wonderful bangles. This is a cute little sports themed one with sports colors and a soccer charm. Um, all kinds of beautiful charms we have to choose from. This is a beautiful enameled guardian beads piece. You can also make your own little charm with a simple wrapped loop technique. Um, just add beads to a head pin, make a wrapped loop. You can add those to your charm bracelet as well. So you can really get creative uh, making little charm bangles. And memory wire is another great option for charm bangles if you want to add a beaded look. Uh, memory wire is easy to work with. It retains its shape and it's easy to finish. You just have to make cute little simple loops or glue on finial ends, um, super easy. So that is why uh, that's another must try technique, super easy, really fun to customize, and you can make a lot in a little amount of time. Another one of my must try techniques is stacking cord bracelets. This is a really great technique if you're just starting out um, in jewelry making and want to start with something simple, stylish, and fun. Or if you're making gifts, this is a really great quick and um, really easy technique to personalize for whoever you're giving a gift. It's just a really wonderful technique. And the great thing about stacking cord bracelets is you can mix and match them, stack them together, wear them all all together or one at a time. It's a really um, easy one to personalize and mix and match and change out. Um, so stacking cord bracelets use, uh, you can use a lot of different cord. We've got Toho Amiet cord, Griffin silk beading cord, Eslon cord, all kinds of different cords that you can use for this. And you can add as many or as little embellishments as you like. This one's just simply braided cord and there's all kinds of different braids you can try. This is a herringbone weave. Um, you can add in beaded links. This comes pre-stitched. You can stitch your own if that's your level of beading, but we do have pre-stitched links that you can add. You can add beads of every style and shape. This one has a cute little turtle with some fun little gold spacers. This one is a cowrie shell bead. Um, so any theme, any color combo you want to try, this is a great technique because you really can add anything and everything to stacking cord bracelets. This is kind of a southwest feel. It's great for little chain remnants too, uh, little charms, anything you want you can add. Of course, seed beads work 
really well too. And um, you can also make them super adjustable. This is a sliding um, knot closure. So you can adjust the size. It's part of the style of the bracelet. Super fun, super easy. So that's what makes them great for gift giving because you can add whatever you like, easily switch out the colors. Um, it's a really great technique for just diving in and making fun jewelry. There's a cute little bumblebee. Um, beads, always add more beads. Who doesn't love more beads? These are little cord bracelets with seed beads featuring a Morse code message. We've got tutorials for how to make those Morse code message on our website. I've got links in the video description. We've also got great tutorials for these different stacking cord techniques as well. And you can even add fun shapes like the Miyuki Tila and Half Tila beads. So, Stacking cord bracelets, they're a must. Great for summer, spring, great for teen jewelry, great for gift giving, great for any style or color combination you can think of. That's why it is a must try technique. We've taken a look at some really simple, quick, easy techniques. I know we have some seed beaters out there and people who are wanting to try something a little more intricate. Um, so here are some must try techniques for the more intricate side of beading and jewelry making. Um, we have to go with peyote stitch. This is a really popular seed beading stitch. It's fun, it's relatively fast to do depending on what pattern you're working with and it feels good. All you need to achieve this technique is seed beads, a beading needle, and thread. So it's a really approachable technique. You don't need a whole lot of supplies to get started. And once you learn the basic technique, you can really go to town customizing it. So this bracelet is just a basic peyote stitch band. It's been customized with a cute little pico edge. Um, this one is also another basic peyote stitch with a couple buttons in place of beads to create that fun embellishment on the front of the bracelet. This is a really super simple one. It is a really thin peyote stitch wrap bracelet in Halloween colors. So this one works up pretty fast because the band is so thin thin. So really fun. Um, this one is cool. It's just a simple little peyote stitch band stitched onto a bangle. So this would be a great one to start with if you want to get the feel for the technique but don't want to make a full-sized bracelet. Um, you can make a little swatch like this and stitch it onto something like this bangle. And then once you've got that um, main technique down, you can really go to town. There's variations such as three drop peyote stitch or two drop peyote stitch where you're using two or three beads in the place of one and it gives you this kind of fun almost checkered or plaid look. Um, you can make little peyote stitch rings and bands. This is a carrier bead bracelet with peyote stitch bands stitched over the carrier beads and this one is my 12 days of Christmas design where you've got a countdown going on. You've got the number and then you know partridge in a pear tree, two turtle doves, we got three French hens over here and on and on. So you can get really creative with your peyote stitch designs. Follow a pattern, use a seed bead blend to just create a random band. You can even do this. This is made with one of our Art Beads designer seed bead blends. It's uh, just randomized uh, color blocking in waves. Makes a really cool look. You can follow a pattern like this one. We have got the PDF pattern for this design on our website. You can even make your own peyote stitch designs with our seed bead graph paper um, that's available to you to fill in and make your own designs. So that's an option. And because there's so many ways to take this uh, technique, it is one of my must tries. Okay, now this is probably my ultimate must-try technique, one of my favorite seed beading techniques, and that is the brick stitch. Brick stitch is so approachable. It's so easy to follow the patterns because it really is a straight line, row by row. You just follow the pattern, and the technique is so simple to modify to create 
any shape imaginable. And we have great instructions for how to do just that. We've got PDF diagrams, videos, all sorts of content to help you get started with the Brick Stitch. And once you get started, you can make almost anything. It's great to get started with simple shapes like diamonds. Um, the pattern is easy to follow. The shape is easy. Simple increase and decrease with diamonds and triangle patterns. And you can make some really fun pieces just with those simple shapes. Um, this is another simple, um, just rectangular pattern, um, but what makes it so interesting looking is different bead shapes. You can use different bead shapes with Brick Stitch to really create something special. So it's just alternating, increasing, decreasing Brick Stitch to create that rectangular shape, um, just different bead shapes. And then I finished it all off with some seed bead fringe for this necklace that just looks like an Egyptian queen would wear it. I love it. And then once you get those basics down you can really go to town creating all kinds of fun shapes I made this little pineapple pin and stitched the pin to the back um, I created these little squirrel collar pins um, to match a shirt that I have and it's perfect for fall and I even brick stitched the little acorns on the bottom you can even brick stitch around hoops around beads this technique is so versatile. There's so much you can do with Brick Stitch. You can create almost any shape imaginable. And because there are so many seed bead options, seed bead colors to work with, you really, the sky's the limit with this technique. It is, it is my favorite stitch for a reason. So like Peyote Stitch, we have a lot of patterns and instructions you can follow. Um, you can also make your own just like peyote stitch we do have seed bead graph paper for free to download and print where you can make your own brick stitch designs that's how I created um, this squirrel and these this pineapple it's so much fun to just let your creativity run wild with brick stitch and that is why it is my number one must try technique especially if you're a seed beater <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of those techniques. Please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what some of your must-try techniques are and what you'd like to see next. We always love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.